Chapter 41 The oblation of fine flour was a figure of the Eucharist. And the offering of fine flour, sir, I said, which was prescribed to be presented on behalf of those purified from leprosy, was a type of the bread of the Eucharist, the celebration of which our Lord Jesus Christ prescribed in remembrance of the suffering which he endured on behalf of those who are purified in soul from all iniquity, in order that we may at the same time thank God for having created the world with all things therein for the sake of man, and for delivering us from the evil in which we were, and for utterly overthrowing principalities and powers by him who suffered according to his will. Hence God speaks by the mouth of Malachi, one of the twelve prophets, as I said before, about the sacrifices at that time presented by you. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord, and I will not accept your sacrifices at your hands. For, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, my name has been glorified among the Gentiles, and in every place incense is offered to my name." and a pure offering, for my name is great among the Gentiles, saith the Lord, but ye profane it. So he then speaks of those Gentiles, namely us, who in every place offer sacrifices to him, i.e. the bread of the Eucharist, and also the cup of the Eucharist, affirming both that we glorify his name, and that you profane it, the command of circumcision, again, bidding them always circumcise the children on the eighth day, was a type of the true circumcision, by which we are circumcised from deceit and iniquity, through him who rose from the dead on the first day after the Sabbath, namely through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the first day after the Sabbath, remaining the first of all the days, is called, however, the eighth according to the number of all the days of the cycle, and yet remains the first.